What is up, ladies and gentlemen, man here. Welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to another hangboard session. A very uh, snowstorm heavy hangboard session, I must say. Hangboard session in a snowstorm in the yurt. Where have you seen this uh, already? This is unique, I would say. But yeah, anyway. Maybe I should rather uh, do it like, uh, you know, how did we survive this snowstorm in the yurt and blah blah blah. Would maybe get me way more views. But anyway. So we are doing some warm-up hangs here, just statically, you know, dead hang style. Fingertips felt kind of hard and, you know, slippery at the beginning of the session, so that's why I it took me a little while to get into the flow. But once I had it, we made gains again, man, it was beautiful. And I, I also used a little bit of water, actually, on my fingertips. So in the yurt, we've got a very dry climate from the heating and stuff. And I think that uh, in combination with the smooth wooden holes and stuff of this hangboard, it's it's kind of hard to make your fingers stick. And what can help you then very often is if you just put a little bit of water on your fingertips, you know, just a couple of drops. Uh, this can make a huge difference. So basically now we've got our uh, warm-up program completed again. Uh, you've seen the one-armor attempts again. It looks pretty much the same, although I must say that uh, the left hand performed significantly or a little bit more solid than previously. I have the feeling in this session number four. And what I'm doing here is basically just do a couple of reps, you know, pull-up reps, actual pull-up reps with uh, the three fingers open and the four fingers half crimped, my two uh, training grips. And now we're basically starting with actual training sets, I would say. One two and even almost three reps on the three fingers half creep which was almost matching my previous personal best and now we're starting also with the bonus weight on the four fingers half creep that's 13 kilograms of bonus weight one and two so it always takes a little while until the you know the actual power kicks in if you increase the difficulty um, bigger rest now and starting this time with the four fingers half cream and bonus weight let's take a look one two three actually quite solid and four so there goes a new PB down goes a new PB uh, great almost at five you know my policy one two three and Four as well on the three fingers open. Yeah, so again we see the, 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 the difficulty or the strength is about 13 kilograms difference, I would say. Three, fi three fingers open versus four fingers half cream. My policy is that um, if I can do five reps or more at a certain difficulty, so at a certain bonus weight or stuff like that, I can increase the bonus weight. Yeah, so we're pretty close here with the three fingers open uh, and the four fingers half cream with 13 kilograms of bonus weight. To, four, uh, to five reps, right? We already got four reps uh, in each of those. That means we will soon, if the trend continues, be able, be allowed to actually increase the bonus weight. Uh, put some bonus weight, after all, on the three fingers open and even more bonus weight on the four fingers half crimp. Yeah? So I got another four kilogram dumbbell, not dumbbell, but this stupid, you know, kettlebell thing laying around here on the floor waiting to be used finally on the four fingers half crimp but since I was so weak so far I couldn't really use it but yeah man an intense snowstorm was going on while while we were doing this session so maybe that provided a bit of additional you know energy to us and now the sets just keep rolling man the way how I do it I make everything by feel these days yeah I don't really track it via stopwatch or stuff like that I just do as much rest as I feel that I need to perform a beautiful set again and I think these were again uh, four reps so we're still at max performance here and I think from here it goes downhill basically basically so let's take a look at this three fingers open set again one two three and Okay, now I'm having trouble again to perform another fourth rep, you know, and that's why I put my feet down, readjust the fingers a little bit and pull up one more time to still get the training stimulus in. And here another four fingers half crimp with bonus weight. One, two, and yeah, it already feels pretty hard. Th uh, not even three reps anymore, yeah. 
So there is this significant point in your session where performance goes down and I think it does not make a lot of sense to prolong the session much more beyond this point. Yeah? That's why what I'm doing here is I'm dropping the bonus weight, doing a couple of uh, you know finishing pull-ups just to... and this is just one set, okay? One set of fading out, finishing pull-ups without any bonus weight um, and uh, yeah that's what I do. <laughs> then the session is finished. Okay. That's it. We did the cool down pull-ups. Wonderful session in the in the snowstorm here today. Amazing. Um, pretty skin intensive for some reason. I don't really know why. But we made new personal bests even in this session. So four hangboard sessions in a row beating the personal bests. I guess next session is gonna be pretty hard to do that again, but who knows, we, we never know, right? Today I was quite heavy, 72, 72 kilos uh, and I think 72.2 or something. That's because of the pants, these pants are really heavy and maybe I'm also a little fatter, who knows. But yeah, nevertheless, really good session. Uh, maybe we can get the five reps on the weighted uh, four fingers half crimp and the three fingers open for that matter without bonus weight and then we could uh, increase uh, bonus weight again that would be cool um, but yeah the weather looks uh, not so out outdoorsy maybe we're gonna do another hangboard session here real soon uh, who knows we gotta bridge the outdoor gaps right but yeah stay strong and free somewhere out there it's going uphill i'll see you soon